Did you see that? Welcome to this week's episode of Dirt Grinder. First of all, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for watching, viewing my two previous videos, subscribing, commenting down below. All that is great help in helping me and you guys together produce this channel and hopefully we can get continue to get quality content for you guys. Today's video is ultimately to talk about how to accomplish a log um, crossing or something like that when you come across the trail. Large size rock also could be incorporated in this on how to advance over that log or that rock and not continue to press on on the trail. You can see here in front of us I do have the log. There's two methods that I typically go over when it comes to crossing a log. You can come up, the first one's gonna be dumping that clutch, getting that front wheel in the air, and you basically loft it over. Your back wheel will strike the log and ultimately kick the ass end up over, and uh, you'll continue to press on. The second method is you could actually come up to the trail, that top quarter of the log, you're gonna do the same type of concept. You're gonna dump a little bit of clutch, just enough so your front tire will stop, or strike that top quarter of the log, and the back tire will come up and strike it as well, and it'll ultimately skip over. So both tires will strike in that method couple other things I do want to explain is their little tactics. 90% uh, of the time to 100% even if you don't want to end up on your ground is when you come up to a log you want to try to get perpendicular to it. If you're running parallel with the log it's really difficult to uh, advance over that log without doing a little tactic that I will show you guys um, today they, in case you maybe can't quite get squared up on it or can't quite get that perpendicular angle to go over the log. Um, other than that I appreciate everything so far. Let's get into today's video. I will have at the end, I did go on a short ride the other day with a buddy of mine, Jeff. Add a little bit of content with that, some viewing stuff. We had some funny times out there doing some goofy stuff together. So uh, I'll put that in there as well. The initial part I want you guys to understand is how to get across the log crossings to make it better and can make you guys ultimately, again, better trail riders. As you approach the log, you're going to compress the suspension using your legs. You're going to have that clutch engaged, you're going to dump the clutch, hit a quick blip of the throttle which will allow that front tire to loft up over that log, your back tire will strike it, and you will continue on on the trail. Same concept, all the same principles, compress the suspension, engage the clutch, blip of the throttle, loft the tire. Now the second method. Same concept, not quite as much of a throttle blip. You're actually trying to get that tire to strike the front portion of that log, that top quarter, and you can see where it'll skip over, allow your back tire to skip right over as well. Same concept though. Again, compress the suspension, tap the front tire, back tire will carry over. As with this quick tactic here, you're going to place left or right foot on the object you're trying to go over, dump the clutch, little blip of the throttle. Using your leg as a pivot point, compress the front forks, dump the clutch, twist the throttle. Now let's go trail riding. Did you see that? Damn, dude, you, I got caught right here. I'll show you. The stick that was out on the right-hand side hit me and just shot me left right at the tree. <laughs> I was just like, the one that's on the right there, or left from up here. I saw you get air off that one. Well, yeah, dude, I got air there, and then I came up here and got caught on that stick. <sighs> Ooh. Thank God for these. I made it. I see that. All right, so today's ride. That was one of my buddies, Jeff, here. I know we can't get too far up the trail this way. We're just riding a little single track right now. He hasn't done too much riding this year. So we're going to just get him in shape, get him tuned up necessarily for the ride season here, hopefully. So. riding on a WR450. I believe it's a 2008 what he's actually on. We're just 
kind of out enjoying the view as the day's kind of more of a uh, tool around day as well. As I mentioned in previous videos and you've been able to see, we can't get too far yet. I think we're just overjoyed to be able to be out riding right now and we just want to press as far as we can in every direction to see what there is and what parts we can get to until we hit the forever grateful snow that we all love so much as dirt bike riders. You see the view from here back down towards the town. The beauty about this area is you can get to so many spots to see phenomenal views. Most people don't get to see it. Unless you get on dirt bikes, you're not going to make it down on some of the single tracks in some of the areas that we go. Right? What? Right or straight? Right, yeah. This is where the tough, difficult part could be. This is it? Yeah, we'll see what... Yep, I got it on. This trail can be technical a little bit if you're a beginning rider. Jeff gets used to it, so I said we'll see how he does here on this little spot. Actually not being too bad right now. rider you just got to press through it figure out a solution continue the course and you'll make it just fine the biggest thing that I can suggest and tell you guys about is in episode 2 when I talk about clutch control you can see right there when I'm running right behind Jeff I'm feathering that clutch as I'm going up there and you can keep that traction keeping that tire grounded without spinning is an absolute must when it comes to trail riding. That is a perfect situation. If you're staying on the throttle the whole time and you're just wrapping out, you're going to eventually lose traction. Once the tire starts spinning, there's no return. He's going to go through the middle and see how deep this is. I just said on the camera, he's going to go through the middle and see how deep this one is. I've already made that mistake. <laughs> I like mud, what can I say? I guess so. I'm sitting here waiting for Jeff to work his way through the woods. I do want to show you that the Kenda Equilibrium is the current tire that I have installed on the uh, CRF250R. Fantastic tire. The biggest thing I want to explain is these knobs if you look, you can see how gummy they are. Now, like I have only had about 15 hours on the tire. I'm riding in some really tough and rocky, hard terrain. So we'll see how it holds up. So far, it's it's been phenomenal. It's held up really well, and I've been in some rocky stuff. I really suggest the Kenda Equilibrium if you're out doing trail riding and you want a hybrid between trials and motocross. guys so much for watching this week's episode of dirt grinder please if you would hit that subscribe button hit that like button that's how we can build this channel and promote content in the future i look forward to hearing from you guys and stay tuned for upcoming episodes